well guys I thought there would be microfish here but you know it's like a day before New Year so of course there aren't gonna be microfish in that little creek anyway guys welcome back to another episode of Species Diaries I'm Evan Beal from John and Evan's Fishing Adventures today is just gonna be kind of a a fun fishing day we're gonna be targeting you know maybe some new species but at this point we just don't want to get skunked like we did yesterday two days ago that's why a video hasn't come out sooner because of the skunk so deal is we're gonna be doing several things well uh, we're gonna target a pond we haven't fished in like a year since I f uh, recently figured out that there are warmouth in there and also recently I had to take warmouth off my species list because after looking at the photo it was not a warmouth so sadly that's gonna had to come off the list but yeah we'll get it again it's not won't be that hard and then we'll get some lunch and fish that creek that's filled with creek chubs and see if we can get my dad on a stone roller. Because another update, a fellow life lister actually contacted me and said that that stone roller that I caught in like a long video, like a long ago video, was actually a central stone roller. So I actually have this fish species. So that's kind of interesting, but my dad doesn't. So we're going to see if we can get, on get him on one and just see what other cool fish are in there and just kind of play around with our new toys. Anyway, let's go to the next venue. best place to go because as you can see if you can kind of see the difference quite a lot of it's frozen maybe like a third of it maybe a quarter of it it's frozen we've only been to this place once and we only caught one fish dad caught this really beat up green sunfish it had like five holes in its mouth so we thought it was like the only fish in here so um but after looking on fish brain i found that the two people caught warm mouth here and now that i don't have warm mouth on my list and dad doesn't have warm mouth on his list we decided to come here with some high-low rigs on some four-pound tests and see if we can catch anything. We're going for whatever bites. Um, I actually forgot to say, um, another mission of today is to just get some photos of fish we already have. Um, I just started a blog, actually. Um, here's the title of the blog where you can go to it. It's not going to actually be like an actual blog. It's mainly just going to be for my species list, so anyone can see what kind of species I have. So again, you can check it out, there's not going to be much on it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to keep adding my species photos to it and it's going to be my official master fish species life list. And then, you know, I might every, every once in a while make a post on it, but not every so often. But anyway, let's get fishing and switch to the GoPro. Oh, like right there. No, let's not do that. It's too uh, windy. I got something? No. I think I want to move. Okay. First off, I want to see how deep it is here. So it's... Oh gosh. Yeah, it's not deep at all. Yeah, it's not. That was cold. Ah, touching stuff that was in water. Not the best thing to be doing in this sort of weather. For sure. Well guys, just got done fishing this pond. We got not a single bite, did we? Not a bite. Although, what do you expect? It's like 20 degrees, like 28, 30 degrees out here. And there's like 10 mile an hour winds, so like, what do you expect, man? 
Um, if you notice it's kind of shaky right now, it's because I don't have the gimbal out here. I don't want it to get too cold. And it was fritzing out. If you notice in the time lapse on today's video, it was fritzing out. I was having to fight it, so I'm going to have to read up in the manual what that's about. But anyway, we're going to go get some lunch. And then we're going to probably go to the creek that we always fish, that always produces. I'm going to catch some creek chubs just so we can see we don't get skunked. And we're going to try to see what kind of micros are in there. I snagged the central stone roller last time we went there, so I'm going to see if my dad can catch one. Yep. One up in line, since I already have it, so he can catch one. Well guys, while I'm struggling to set up my rod, as you can see, if you remember from the last episode where we went fishing, we're back here again. But we are kind of back for revenge. My dad needs to get a central stone roller. Uh, you know, I'm, we're just going to micro fish and see what's here and just, for the most part, just play with our new toys that we got for Christmas. <laughs> Still not the size I'm looking for. That's 14 again. I we'll go with this guy. I think, I think this is a 16. Yeah, this looks like a 16. That's a size 14. Okay. Little size 16. Small split shot. Let's catch a creek chub just so we can say we aren't skunked. Then I'll move on to probably something else. So let's just see. Come on, creek chub. Oh, got one already. Oof. He'll probably fit in the photo tank, but uh, I don't know. I think he might have swallowed it. I didn't know he bit. A little dink. Oops. Wait, wait. Bud, stop it. I'm trying to get you unhooked. Man, you're cold. Is he bleeding? How is he bleeding? I barely even hooked him. Okay, let's get you in the photo tank. Now there's our little guy, the creek chub, swimming around in the photo tank. He is okay. First I thought he was bleeding, but I think he's okay. Well, I'm going to get a shot of him for my blog, my life list, and uh, well, we'll release him. Let's go. Okay, got some good shots of him. He's just kind of now... Chilling in the photo tank a bit. Oh, he's now riled up again. Okay, well. Mm. Okay, bud. Let's release you. Okay. Beautiful little specimen. Perfect. Love this photo tank. Makes it much easier to document your fish species. I like it. Yeah. That one. Oh, this is a better one. Yay! <laughs> yep. <laughs> you too. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Did you get a tap? Yeah. Then set it. Set it. There you, there you go. Good work. Okay, let's put him in the photo tank. Let's get a good shot. Here, we're gonna go over to the bench over there because it's easier to set them down. Right. Just unhook him. Unhook him. Okay, let's... okay, before the camera died, I was gonna show you guys this. If you guys didn't watch the previous uh, Christmas special, which I highly recommend, I'll link it in the cards right now. This is going to be one of my new Tanago setups. It's very nice. I got it off eBay for like 10 or 20 bucks. Look at that. It kind of looks like a Tanago rod, but it isn't. It's kind of like in in uh, Korea, China, Japan, that sort of area. They use these for carp fishing, but I'm not that crazy to use this thing for carp fishing. So <laughs> we're going to use it for micro fishing. As you can see, look how compact that is. Oh, 
Oh, dude, no! What? I had a darter! I had a darter on! Oh, my God. Dude! Oh! Dude! Dude! Dang, darter! <laughs> oh. oh, I got something. I don't know what this is. It looks a dink to creek shot, but I'll put it in the photo tank just to make sure. Didn't swallow it, so that's good. Yeah, it's a dink creek chub. Uh, whatever. I'm not even going to put you in the photo tank. You don't deserve it. <laughs> You're just going to go straight back. I don't need a photo of you. Yeah. Something there? No. Man, that gives me some confidence, though. Oh, dude, look. Dude, a double up on the golf balls. Look at this. <laughs> well, if we can't catch a new species, I caught a new species of golf ball. A Max Flea golf ball. What was your species of golf ball? I'm just kidding. A what? Oh, so we got two species of golf ball today. <laughs> well, I'll put, let's throw that up there and I'll get it when we go. Okay, going back to the darter spot, guys. If you remember from a past video, this is where I caught my first orange throat darter. And my daddy caught his first black side darter. So, we're gonna see if there's any more darters here. I kinda doubt it due to the cold, but I mean, we'll see. I see something. Oh no. Oh no, is, is he alive? I think he's alive. I thought it was a, a, the same daughter that I caught a long time ago, just dead, but I think it's alive. Well, we'll see. I don't think he's alive. I don't think he's alive. Oh, no, he's alive. For sure. For sure he was alive. Oh my gosh! Wow, are you kidding me? He was so still, I didn't even think he was alive. I thought it was that darter I caught a long time ago just dead. Or like fossilized or something, but no, I tapped him with my, uh, my split shot and he was alive. That's amazing! Wow! I think I just found another orange throat, or maybe a rainbow? I don't know, we'll see. I still see him. He went under a different rock, so we can just get him to bite. We'll see. Let's see. When I go down here, I go down to this riffle right here. Look, look into the photo tank. Look at, the, look into the photo tank. Oh my goodness! Wow, yeah. Dude, it's like a viewfinder. Okay, so I was editing the video and I realized I never made an outro because my fingers were so cold and I didn't want to have to take the time to uh, make an outro. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as far as like what happened after what I'm going to stop the footage as, we didn't catch any of the darters. That one orange throat was just too uh, secluded. He would not bite. Uh, probably due to the be, it being winter time. And then that one darter that I caught, well, after looking at the footage, thank goodness, uh, it fell off way too quickly for me to actually even, like, swing it over. Which is good, because I was really kicking myself, because I thought that I just didn't react, and it just fell off into the water. But, oh well. I mean, it was a good day of fishing. We didn't get skunked, like, the last trip. It's been tough, guys. I mean, we just had torrential rains uh, this New Year's Eve, so now, you know, all the f rivers and creeks around here are, you know, completely d muddy and like chocolate milk, so. Anyway, I hope I can get out fishing at some point this New Year's. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I got big plans for 2019. Hope you enjoy, and see you guys next time.